In this episode of Cobb TV, we are demystifying the drumming style of Mr. Ginger Baker. <laughs> yes, and be sure to like and subscribe for more epic musical content. Now, one day when Ginger Baker was shoplifting records with some friends, he came across the album Quintet of the Year, which featured Max Roach, and he fell in love with jazz music forever. And then eventually at a party, there was a drum set everyone egged him on to play, and he just fit the role naturally, so he decided he wanted to be a drummer for the rest of his life, eventually meeting jazz drummer Phil Seaman, who introduced him to African rhythms. And that became a very pivotal point in his musical journey because it just changed the way that he played forever. And look no further than Sunshine of Your Love for his tribal style of playing. So what he's doing in Sunshine of Your Love that's so unique is he's not just playing a simple beat with the backbeat on two and four, keeping time on one of the cymbals. He's actually keeping time on the toms and his backbeat is on one and three as opposed to two and four. So he totally shifted the beat from boo, ka, boo, boo, ka to ga, boo, boo, ka, boo, boo, ka, boo, boo. And again, it's just part of that tribal style of playing that was influenced from the African drumming that he was exposed to at an early age. If there was one word to describe Ginger Baker's playing, I would say antagonistic. Everything he does kind of goes against the grain of what you hear in the music, yet it complements it so well. And look no further than Cream's version of the blues standard, born under a bad sign, to hear just that. So in Born Under a Bad Sign, we got the riff. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Most people will probably go boom, boom, cap, boom, boom, cap, boom, boom, cap, boom, boom. You know, kind of following the bass line. But Ginger Baker, he's doing something completely different. Boom, ta, boom, cap, boom, ting, ta, boom, cap, boom, cap. Really funking it up, if you know what I mean. Another example of Ginger Baker's ability to just completely flip the beat is the song Politician off the same record. And of course, we can't go on without talking about Ginger Baker's 5-4 Bolero introduction on the song White Room, which also has a really cool groove and some of his signature style fills. So again, on the topic of his fills, if you want to do some Ginger Baker spamming on 
Cream songs whenever there's a moment to do a fill, or even if you just want to emulate his style, there's a three note pattern called the triple stroke roll, just singles, right, left, right, right, left, right, da ka da, do ka do, do ka do, do ka do. You could, of course, alternate those. So you can either go one E N, two E N, three E N, four. Or and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. And again, it's just all over Cream's music. It's one of Ginger Baker's signature flares. And of course, these are just a few short examples of Ginger Baker's drumming style. Definitely listen to all the Cream albums. Check out all the bands that he played with to really get inside his head musically. Ginger Baker was a true artist and a true craftsman on the drum set. Definitely one of the most influential players of all time, influencing everyone from Nick Mason to Bill Ward to Neil Peart. Yes. Be sure to like and subscribe for more epic musical content. But in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.